Hey everybody, here we are again. It's time for another episode of Good Night Lighthouse with Miss Dorothy. I'm here to read you a bedtime story, so I hope you are in your pajamas, cuddled up, and ready to listen to a great book. This book probably will make you want to go right to sleep. It's definitely a bedtime story. And again, it's a book given to me by one of my friends, which you know sharing books makes them even more special. This book was given to me by Caden. He, this is one of his favorites, and he brought it in so Miss Dorothy could read it to you, which I thought was really nice of him. Don't you think so? So this book is called Night Night Farm. Night Night Farm. You can see from the picture that we're definitely going to be taking a trip to a farm. And if you look close, you're going to see that all these little animals are getting ready to go to bed, just like you. So this is going to be a fun book. I wonder what the animals do before they get ready to go to bed. Hmm, that's interesting. I wonder if they all do different things or if they all do the same things. Well, we're going to have to find out. And you know how we do it. We open the book and we look inside and we read the words and we find out how animals are going to get ready for bed in Night Night Farm. Now, this book was written by Amy Parker. She's the lady that wrote all the words. And the pictures were drawn by Virginia Allen. And I'm thinking Virginia must really love animals because she drew great pictures of these animals. I especially like the pigs, but piggies are Miss Dorothy's favorite. You know that. So anyway, you need to sit up, listen close, and get ready because it's time for us to open this book and read Night Night Farm together. Are you ready? I hope so because here we go. The sun sinks low down on the farm. So for now, we'll say night night and sleep until the rooster crows to wake the morning light. Night night farm. It's bath time for little piggies. Now hop in one, two, three. But all their muddy splashing means a big old bath for me. Oink, oink, pigs. Beneath the moon, a mama cow nuzzles, nuzzles her calf real close. Then mama hums a lullaby, the sound I love the most. Moo, moo, cows. A trot to the orchard and back for apples crisp and sweet. Leaves fuzzy, full, all tuckered out, asleep at daddy's feet. Nay, nay, horses. That little baby horse definitely looks tired. A night night snack and all eyes close. Well, all except for one. Mama, just a wee bit more, and then I'll all be done. Meow, meow kitties. Three woolly lambs like puffy clouds float gently down to sleep and dream of happy, happy days while they are counting sheep. Ba ba sheep. Yellow chick on a downy bed with a mom so snuggly warm, the promise of another day and new life on the farm. Cheep, cheep, chickens. A baby chick and a lot of eggs. The coast is clear, a voice calls out, and mice come riding through. A hayride while the whole farm sleeps under the midnight blue. Squeak, squeak, mice. Mice and pigs, chickens and cows, squeak, oink, cheep, and moo. Oh, the animals God has made. And hey, he made me too. 
Night Night God. Oh, that was a really good book. I kind of feel like I should be whispering because everybody in the book went to sleep. Did you see that? How all the animals went down to sleep? Everybody went night night and then it said that it was time for you to go night night because we know that it's true. I thought that was a really good book, but I don't know why it makes me want to be quiet. I guess that's because it is all about going to sleep. Night Night Farm is all about how quiet things get on a farm when it's time to go to sleep. Just like it's probably getting more quiet in your house, isn't it? Because it's bedtime and it's time to go to sleep. Did you ever notice how things can be loud and noisy and you could be playing and having fun with your family, but then all of a sudden everything starts to quiet down because it's time to go to sleep. I really like this book. I wanted to say thank you for, to Caden for bringing it in for us. I'm glad he shared his favorite book with you. I'm glad I was able to read it to you. All right, everybody, we need to stay really, really quiet because it is time for us to go to sleep, just like the pigs and the chickens and the mice on the farms. So let's say a really quiet little prayer before we go off to sleep, okay? You pray with Miss Dorothy. Fold your hands, close your eyes. Dear God, thank you for this beautiful day that we've had. Thank you for all the fun we've been able to have with our family and our friends. Please watch over our family, watch over our teachers and our school and all the people that we love. Help us to get a really good night's sleep so we can wake up tomorrow ready for a really wonderful day. Thank you for all you do for us. Thank you, Jesus, for how you love us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, little piggies, I need you to curl up, curl up those piggy tails and get ready to go to sleep. Be really, really quiet, just like the animals on the farm, because that's what we do when we go to sleep. We get really, really quiet. And when your parents say, shh, and tell you to stop talking and go to sleep, I want you to obey and obey right away. Does that sound like a good idea? I think it sounds like a great idea. And don't you worry. I'll be back really, really soon for another episode of Good Night Lighthouse so Miss Dorothy can read you another book, maybe one from one of our friends. All right? I'll see you soon, everybody. Bye-bye.